When you think of the greatest inventors in history, a few names usually stand out. Henry Ford, the Wright brothers, Thomas Edison. But one name often goes unrecognized. Every time you charge your phone, flip on a light, or open your fridge, you're using the ideas of Nikola Tesla. This is the story of the brilliant mind the world nearly forgot. And it all begins at the end. On January 7th, 1943, a maid walked into room 3,327 of the New Yorker Hotel. There she found the lifeless body of an 86-year-old man who had quietly lived there for the past 10 years. Tesla died alone, broke, and largely unknown. His daily meals, just warm milk and crackers. His biggest joy, feeding pigeons outside his window. One of the most influential inventors in history passed away in obscurity. Why? You'll understand by the end of this story. Nikola Tesla was born on July 10th, 1856 in Smiljan, now part of Croatia. He entered the world during a lightning storm. According to legend, a midwife said, this child will be of darkness. Tesla's mother replied, no, he will be of light. She was more right than she could have imagined. When Tesla was five, his older brother died after falling from a horse. That moment haunted Tesla for the rest of his life. As a child, he experienced intense visions and bursts of light in his mind, often unsure of what was real and what was imagined. These vivid mental images shaped his genius. He could design inventions entirely in his head without writing or sketching. In a 1919 article, he explained, my devices always work as I imagined. In 20 years, I've never had a single failure. Tesla credited his mother for his inventive spark. Juka Mandic, his mom, often created clever household tools in her free time. She had a photographic memory and passed that down to her son. Tesla's father, a priest, hoped he'd follow in his footsteps. But Tesla's heart was in engineering. When he caught cholera as a teenager, his father made a promise. If Tesla survived, he could study engineering. Against all odds, he pulled through. Tesla went to the technical college in Graz, Austria. He studied from 3 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day. His professors feared the pace would kill him. His mind was incredible. He did complex calculus in his head and spoke eight languages. He started off strong, but gambling pulled him off track. He eventually dropped out, cut ties with his family, and disappeared. Even friends assumed he'd drown. He drifted through Europe, eventually landing in Budapest where he worked as a telephone company electrician. One day in a park, Tesla had a vision, a completely new way of producing electricity. It was the concept of alternating current, or AC, and it would eventually change the world. Stick around, I'll explain AC shortly. In 1882, Tesla moved to Paris and began working for the French division of Edison's company. He started with light installations but quickly rose through the ranks, designing advanced dynamos and motors. Soon he was being sent across Europe to solve technical issues. By 1884, his manager offered him a job at Edison Machine Works in New York. Tesla agreed and arrived in America nearly penniless. His money had been stolen during the voyage. At first, he admired Edison. And Edison was impressed too. He once said, I've had many hardworking assistants, but you take the cake. But the admiration didn't last. The two clashed over how electricity should be delivered. Edison favored direct current or DC, which flows one way. Tesla believed in alternating current where current reverses direction periodically. That reversal is important. It helps electricity travel long distances and prevents overloads. It's why AC powers homes and appliances today, while DC is limited to smaller devices like flashlights. But Edison wasn't interested in AC. It threatened his business. Tesla said a manager at Edison's company offered him $50,000 to improve DC machines. When he succeeded, they refused to pay. Edison reportedly told him, you don't understand our American humor. Frustrated, Tesla quit and launched his own electric company in 1885. But his investors weren't on board with his ideas. They took control of the company and all of Tesla's patents. Since he had traded them for now worthless stock, he lost everything. He ended up digging ditches for $2 a day to survive. Things turned around in 1887. Tesla invented an AC-powered induction motor, an extremely efficient way to convert electricity into mechanical energy. It's the foundation for motors today, 
including the ones in Tesla cars. He patented it and presented it in 1888. George Westinghouse, a major energy entrepreneur, saw its potential. He realized Tesla's AC motor might be the missing piece to compete with Edison's DC systems. Tesla licensed his patents for $60,000 and received stock and royalties. Westinghouse also hired him as a consultant for $2,000 a month, worth more than $50,000 today. Thus began the War of Currents. Edison tried everything to discredit AC, funding electric chair executions and filming animal electrocutions. One of the most infamous was the 1903 death of Topsy the Elephant, which Edison's company filmed in electrocuting an elephant. But despite these tactics, Tesla and Westinghouse gained traction. They beat Edison's company to light the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. It was the first all-electric fair visited by 27 million people. The message was clear, AC was the future. Their next win, building the first major AC power plant at Niagara Falls, lighting up the city of Buffalo. Tesla's plant helped pave the way for renewable energy. Today, you can find a statue of him at Niagara Falls. With this, AC became the global standard. But Westinghouse's company soon fell into deep debt, $10 million worth. In 1897, Westinghouse asked Tesla to lower or waive his royalties. Out of loyalty, Tesla tore up the contract, sacrificing what would have been $12 million back then, or more than $300 million today. Would you have done the same? Let me know in the comments. Had he kept that deal, Tesla might have become the world's first billionaire, but he chose to help his friend instead. Westinghouse later paid him $216,000 for permanent rights to the AC patents about $60 million today. That gave Tesla independence. He set up labs in New York where he was visited by celebrities like Mark Twain. It was a golden age of invention. Tesla would ultimately hold more than 300 patents. He developed early neon lights, the bladeless Tesla turbine, and even pioneered X-ray imaging. This is an X-ray of his own hand. In 1898, he also debuted one of the first remote controls, Using it, he maneuvered a small boat at Madison Square Garden. The crowd thought it was magic. Today, that invention is the ancestor of remote-controlled drones. And of course, there's the Tesla coil, able to generate incredibly high voltages. Tesla discovered that if signals match the same frequency, they could send and receive data wirelessly. He was about to make radio history until a fire destroyed his lab in 1895, erasing years of research. At the same time, Guglielmo Marconi in England was working on similar technology. He tried to patent his radio in the US, but was denied. It was too close to Tesla's design. Yet in 1901, Marconi sent the first transatlantic radio signal using 17 of Tesla's patents. Backed by Edison, Marconi was later granted a US patent in 1904. No reason was ever given, but powerful financial backing likely played a role. In 1911, Marconi won the Nobel Prize, thanks in large part to Tesla's work. Tesla sued, but the case dragged on for years and was only resolved in his favor after his death. The radio patent dispute marked the beginning of his decline. Tesla dreamed of global wireless communication. He built a massive transmission tower on Long Island, Wardenclyffe Tower. He imagined a world where we could send data wirelessly years before it was possible. But investors pulled out and backed Marconi instead. Tesla couldn't fund the project and lost the tower to foreclosure. His mental health deteriorated. By 1933, he moved into the New Yorker Hotel. Westinghouse paid his rent and hired him as a consultant. Still, Tesla died in debt. So why did such a visionary die in poverty and obscurity? Part of it was bad luck, like the lab fire. But mostly, it was because Tesla wasn't in it for the money. If he made choices others wouldn't, like giving up his royalties. Tesla didn't chase fortune, he chased progress. His goal was to better humanity, and he succeeded. Today, thanks to the company that bears his name, the world is finally rediscovering the man who helped power it. His mother called him a child of light, and she was absolutely right. If this story moved you, give it a like and share Tesla's legacy with someone who needs to hear it.